Hi everybody, Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. Hello. Um, we are going to start on a new piece. And so I know this doesn't look like much after the enormous wardrobe that we just finished up, but I need a break. I don't wanna be on the step stool. I just wanna sit. <laughs> but this is a beautiful piece. And I have just the thing that I wanted to do to this piece. And so I'm going to show you exactly what that is. And again, I just want to say hello, Dion with the Turquoise Iris. Um, this is a place where actually it's day 33 of 100 lives in 100 days. Um, hi, bub. And um, we've got some fun stuff. I got a new product in the mail this week. So I'm going to show it to you and tell you a little bit about what my plan is as far as furniture makeover goes. Um, thank you for my comment about my hat. It was actually a gift um, from Anissa Moriarty with Nissa and that. When she came here for class, she brought it. And what does that say? Uh, her friend. Hang on, let me do a shout out. Hang on. <laughs> um, Fink Handmaids. Fink Handmaids in um, Kansas. And this, if you pop on here, Fink Handmaids, put the post, put the, post the link. Fink Handmaids is where this came from. So I was going to go to the movies, Kristen, and the tickets were $20 a ticket to see Mr. Rogers. And I just thought $40 to go see Mr. Rogers seems like a lot. So I don't know if we were going to get a massage while we were there or what was going to happen, but um, I made the call to say, er, we'll just wait and do it on video or direct to band, whatever it is. Um, so we did not. We just went to dinner and we came home. But $20 a ticket, doesn't that seem like a lot? I'm in Oklahoma. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. I'm glad that you're here. Listen, the armoire's done. Hopefully you've seen the pictures of it. We ended up using eight different colors, two different waxes, and it's now listed on my website. But we've got a much smaller piece here. So I want to show you a new product that I got in. Um, Melissa wants to know where Sugar Booger More Matt is. I'm here. He's here. He is here. Carol, we get the larger furniture rollers. Um, they're really nice, heavy duty. Matthew, where'd you get these? Northern Tool. Northern Tool. So these are really sturdy. These are really nice and large. They were how many? Were they $10 a piece? I don't think they were that much. Eight or ten. Yeah. Um, so they're really good though. I say if you're going to get some, really get invest in the good quality ones because if they end up snapping or breaking or not working for you well or not roll well. Um, and we've had these for like, what, three years? At least. At least three years. Uh, Mr. Rogers would not be happy that that was $20 a ticket. I agree. So guys, I told you that for the rest of the year, I'm going to be using blue iris in some form or another because I'm just obsessed with it. So if you're following Iron Orchid Designs or me or one of the lovely retailers, um, they came out with new transfers this week. Um, this is the one I'm going to be using. It's actually titled Japonica. Japonica. And I'm not sure if you can see it. I know YouTube, it looks really good. This is a transfer. This is something I'm going to actually apply to the piece of furniture. There was a sample photo that they actually, she, they took a bunch of my old pieces that I've done a few years ago and they like photoshopped them on to my pieces of furniture and they just looked amazing. So they did this to a blue piece. Uh, it was more of a navy piece. So I'm actually gonna do blue. I'm actually gonna use in some copper and some gold, but I'm gonna put this Japonica. Um, it has a little bit of um, there's pinks and corals, so I think the contrast is going to be really pretty. Um, I may change my mind, but um, we'll get started here with the blue iris and um, as the base coat. But I do want to open it because I want to show you the transfer while you're all still hanging out here. And um, hmm, you have any fancy tools that can cut this little piece of tape? Woods, thank you. So yeah, if y'all have any questions and I start turning around, um, I just want you to know that we're really going to start working on getting better lighting and better audio. Uh, Matt noticed that since he's been in here and looking more at my videos that when I turn around, it's a little bit harder to, for you to hear me talk. <laughs> and I was wearing earbuds, but when I wear them, I can't stream on all three devices. And so we're working on finding better audio, better video, better lighting. My hat, thank you, it's Fink. It's from Fink. Uh, what did I say, guys? Anissa Moriarty, she gave it to me when she was here. 
Um, so I changed the direction a little bit, set up just a little bit differently. We have both two different lights up and I just want you to know we're working really hard to come up with better lighting and audio and video, um, all to, for your benefit. It's not working, is it, babe? Okay, so um, I wanna show you that transfer, but I'm gonna get started on Blue Iris. The other thing I wanted to ask you, since I have 67 more days of lives in a row without interruption, I've taken suggestions. And when I say suggestions, kindly suggest, what would you like to see me do? Because I thought, well, I could start a new piece tonight, or, 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 and I had a bunch of ideas, but I would love to know what you would like to watch. Um, what would you like to see me do? Because a lot of things that I do, I take for granted and I don't think about, sometimes I don't think about basics. I don't think about, um, look at that. Um, Mona, yeah, it's working really well. Now it's going to be like a four part class. We did part one today, um, but we were starting a piece that we were doing tie dye on and it's turning out really, really wonderful. Hello, Rennie. Hello guys on Instagram and YouTube. I appreciate you so much. Um, thank you, honey. So Matt is here. If you have questions, uh, just give me any suggestions that you have. Um, I really, really would love some suggestions. Like I said, I have 67 more days. I'm going to run out of ideas. So this is a transfer and this is by Iron Orchid Designs. You can find online stockists and you can find brick and mortar stockists. Um, I am actually a stockist in, at Reclaimed More in um, Oklahoma. I don't have all of them though. And if you go there to their page, you will scroll back to see some of the most beautiful designs. Um, okay, so this has a white background on it just to show you better. But when you pull it away, you can see the design just a little bit better. So this image can actually be transferred onto furniture. Uh, I know, right? So I wanna show you this design. And this is what I wanna to add to the front of this. Now I'm not sure I'll use the whole thing what I usually do is I end up cutting up these transfers and implementing them um, myself and just kind of rearranging them, maybe wrapping them around. Um, just because I always like for my looks to be totally one of a kind and not like anybody else's. It would be easier just to do it this way though. And I totally recommend it, but I just end up doing something a little bit different. So you just lay this out and this, this would actually cover the entire front if I chose to. Um, but I think the blue will be a really good contrast with the pink and the red. So I want you to see, and this is Japonica. Okay, all right, isn't that pretty? So when you pull the white paper away, but we'll do that, we'll do that on another episode. I just wanted you to, that's kind of what my game plan is. We're gonna do copper and gold and blue. Are there any questions or comments, Matt? There's lots of questions and lots of comments. Okay, can you read them? Um, Carol Kincaid, very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, how about talking. painting in the black outline of the transfer? That was from uh, Fraser. Ah, oh. painting in the black, like inside where it's black and white, actually painting in that. Oh, I could totally do that. I did that on a stamp, like the rose twall stamp. I stamped the rose twall and then I just filled in with little bitty teeny tiny flowers and then sanded it a little bit and it looked, ended up looking like vintage wallpaper. Um, that was that's a really great idea. All right, so let's just start on this. And what um, else? I asked them for suggestions when you walked out of the okay. room. Okay, yeah, because um, there's a lot of stuff I don't think I've read, so I may have missed some things, so. That's all right. Um, uh, Carrie on Facebook, do you think transfers bring more value to a project? I think um, they, they probably do. They definitely have more value as far as the um, cost that it takes <laughs> to make it and then the time involved. Um, so that automatically adds in value because it makes it more one of a kind. Um, the person that created it, you know, it paid for more of it. Um, there's more time involved with that. So I would say, yes, it does add value. It add, also adds a very, um, it adds character to it as well. Um, Robin Harrison. Hey, from Sydney, Australia. Hi. Love the beanie. My fave blue. Trying to time it right to see you live, but not sure if I'm getting it right yet. 
You know what? We've been working towards doing it in the evening. Um, this is our very first fall and winter that we don't have basketball. So both of the boys are in high school and neither one of them are doing basketball. And so we've actually had free evenings, haven't we, honey? We've been here like every evening. And so it's just worked out to where we're like, well, we can do that after dinner. I know that a lot of you are more available after dinner too. So I just want to be access accessible and more available to you as well. I think we're going to try to set a time though, aren't we? We are going to try to set a time, especially for you guys on YouTube. Uh, I know that it, I mean, I've had more requests over and over and over um, for, for it to be a same time. So keep in mind though, I already do one for Friday Night Live on Facebook. And then I have, um, in my creative connection, I have a Tuesday night scheduled. And then on Wednesdays, I have one on the DIY paint page. And then on Mondays and Fridays, I have scheduled training at the same time every week. So I already do lives five times a week that are scheduled at a set time. So just a little bit more about me, that's the other things that I do. And so it's kind of hard for me to commit to another time, but we're gonna but work we're, really hard. But we're gonna try to do 8.30. We, the 8.30's been right, working, yeah, because I figure the people on the East Coast may still be awake at 9.30 and maybe not completely in bed. And Robin, uh, she's the one that asked a question. She wanted to know uh, what time it is here, and it is just before 8.30 p.m. here. Okay, where, where did she say she was, Australia? Uh, she's Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. Yeah. And then we have one that just joined um, from England. Welcome you all, I'm so thrilled you're here. So is it Sunday morning there? And it would be when? Sunday. It would be Sunday in Australia. Yes, and in England. And in England. Um, Mia McLean on Facebook, mm -hmm. can you teach on spraying colors? On what? Spraying, like spraying colors. I'm not sure if she meant like. Yeah, like, like in a water bottle. Is that what you mean? Or sure. do you use me? Do you mean using a spray, a paint sprayer? Elaborate for me. It's Sunday lunch in Australia. Wow, Lisa, thanks for being here. Oh, it says uh, 2:25 a.m. in the UK. Ah, I was gonna say I only think they're about seven hours ahead of us. So maybe Chris, six. Beller, Chris Beller wants to know if, if I'm allowed to watch football on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> he may have thought that from your question of saying, wow, it's really great to live with Dion. So I, you know what? I don't watch TV. I, I, I know, I know. I, so uh, you answer. I, I know. I, I, tr I try to. I'm not a huge football fan, but I like to sit down and watch it. But uh Maybe I'm doing stuff around the house. So. Sundays, yeah, he's usually doing the honeydew lists and just things he wants to do. But um, Matt is more of a baseball fan. Um, and he'll watch baseball games way more than he will football games, especially NFL. None, none of us really watch a lot of NFL. Um, but the OU game is on right now in the other room. So he was willing to come in here with me while the OU is kicking TCU's tail. I almost said butt. No, you did. I almost um, said butt. Let me see. Okay, Andrea Parks. If I make a mistake during the mounting of the transfer, uh -huh. is there an easy way to get it off, or do I have to sand it off? Oh, my. You guys that are on here that have used them, help me out, because I've never had that happen. Like, not to say I don't mess up, but I've never tried to get it off. I think you have to sand it off. Like, once it's adhered, it's adhered. It's not like a peel and stick where you can pull it back off. Because um, it gets on there pretty good. And there's a lot of you on here, especially on Facebook, um, because I can't see any comments at all or who's on or, or anything. Um, Matt keeps his man card. Uh, Wendy Miller on YouTube uh, answered um, Andrea. She said, Andrea Parks, I had to sand mine, but there is that goof off stuff that has an adhesive remover option. So there are products out there, I think, is... Is what yeah, she's after. yeah. So you don't necessarily have to sand it off, but you, you, you can find some things that... You certainly can't really peel it off, though. Yeah. So what else should I do? Like, guys, give me a list, because I'm going to get a notepad. I'm going to write down your ideas and see if I can actually make them work for our lives that are coming up for the next 67 days. <sighs> ah. And any other questions that you have, I'm going to do my best to answer them. 
Is this not the most beautiful color? Raise your hand. Yeah, some people want, want you to mention what the color is again. For some people oh, just doing some people are asking the color. It's called Blue Iris, and it's from DIY, and it's a clay-based paint, but it's the only paint that I use, especially on my furniture. Um, but it's one of our brand new ones. It was actually the one that I got to choose, one of the ones I got to choose. Um, when we added nine new colors to the DIY line in uh, September. I love it too much. If you remember, I just did a, uh, an antique hutch, china hutch, and this was the base color on the exterior. Uh, Roxanne Cunning Cunningham. Okay. Uh, I've seen several people keep the knobs on when using transfers. Uh -huh. Is it better to remove the drawer pulls? I think when you're gonna apply a transfer, you should definitely remove the pulls. It's gonna be so much easier, you all. Like that's, I mean, I took them off because I actually, I want to leave them this original color. Um, but I'm going to add copper. And I just, when you apply something like this to the front of something, it, it definitely needs. I, I just think it's best to take the hardware off is what I'm trying to say, guys. So I think the contrast between the red and the coppers and the blue are going to be and again, this is a brand new one from IOD called Japonica. And I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I think I am. Uh, Missy Sellers. Who? Missy? Missy Hi, from, Missy. From the Facebook. Uh, what do you use for a top coat when you don't use a wax? Um, so the if I, I usually use waxes, and I prefer them because they also add another color and another um, kind of shadowing, and I really like to work them for my favor in my favor. Um, but I will use Big Top. Big Top is our semi-gloss, um, water-based. It's like brush on, brush on, brush on, boom, dry in a second. I love it so much. And usually if I'm doing a piece that's got more of a, um, like a, like a painting on the front, like if I'm hand painting something on there, I will sometimes use a the big top because I actually want it shinier, like if it were a wall hanging, like a painting on the wall. But I really love waxes. Uh, just trying the new pearl color, and it's, oh, this is Renee Dillon's here. Uh, just trying the new pearl color, and it's super creamy looking, but it is always so hard to get coverage that doesn't streak. What is the secret? Um, I will not lie to you. I don't like using white colors because they're so hard. I'm terrible. Whites are so hard. But with DIY, um, and I'm just going to speak from using DIY, um, when you apply just a little bit of water to the surface or to your brush, um, you're going to get less streaks and you're going to get a more um, smooth, finer finish. Um, so I would suggest if you haven't tried just to use a little bit of water. I do actually have my spray water bottle coming out in like two, less than two weeks. Is it next week that they ship? Uh, I think next week, yeah. Yeah, next week they ship the Water Girl. Um, it's a fine sprayer and it will be from the Turquoise Iris collection. Um, Robin Harris on the YouTube. Do you know if Deb is ever going to sell the DIY paints internationally? We need it down need it down here down under we do need it down under she's at the moment she's making her own colors very good wow that's so creative of you to come up with your own colors i'd like to know what your favorite one is um so i want you to know if you are overseas or international um it's definitely something that she thinks about um i just can't speak for her um but it would be a it would be something that that she would love to do yes at some point when you paint, oh, this is from Adana Rebel Pierce. Okay. When you paint, do you have to brush in just one direction? You don't have to, but I think that if you're wanting a smoother finish, it helps to go with the grain of the wood. Um, when I'm actually trying to create texture, as I'm adding different layers and colors and uh, wanting my piece to look older, then I'm, I'm not so worried about it. But for the base coat, I think that I definitely recommend you go with the grain. Um, okay, Lynn Swarnigan. Mm -hmm. Swarnigan. Swear engine. Swear engine. That got that name got you the other night. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, can you put the transfer directly on the paint, or does it need to be sealed first? Um, I've done both, and everybody will tell you something different. I think that it's a pre personal preference, uh, but I will probably put a coat of Big Top, the 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 surface color, 
that I was just talking about. I'll probably put a coat of that on first and then apply it and then apply the big top again over it. So let's just lay that out. Hi, Tonda, I need to have you on. Gosh, we need to reschedule that now that we've got Zoom working. Karen Brennan wants to know, have you ever driven through Albuquerque? I have never been. Have we ever even ever been? We've no, never been anywhere. Never been We've never been that direction at all in this country. Well, we, I mean, like in that direction from Oklahoma. We went to Vegas once. I ended up coming back. Okay, so I want you to see this. This is the transfer. And so I'm going for a contrast, but this, this is going to have copper on it as well, this piece. So see how beautiful that is? A few days ago, Iron Orchid Designs released all of their new transfers and showed you images of transfers on pieces of furniture. And some of those pieces were mine, um, and they just digitally applied. I mean, I'm like, they got some skills, Miss Jose. I think it was Josie. And um, I was thoroughly impressed with how she took some of my old pieces and gave you an example. So you guys, you need to go to Iron Orchid Designs, um, to their, at least their Facebook page, and just look at all of their new images. There was one that had lemons and then there was several that had floral. There was ones that I had a pink desk and they covered it in butterflies. It was perfect. And I meant to tell Melissa Overland, that's your desk that they covered butterflies in it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to shift this to the side and just paint one of the sides while y'all are asking some more questions. And please continue to give me ideas on what you want to see me do for the next 67 days. Um, one lady, um, Okay. Where is she? I'm trying to find her. Oh, uh, Wendy Miller on uh, on Hi, YouTube. Wendy. Hi, uh, Wendy. Suggestion. She said, painting Christmas ornaments or showing us how to do the IOD drawer knobs. Ah. Oh, I could do those, except I've never done them. <laughs> that might be a fun... That might it be might be kind of fun. Thing. I've never done those. That's a great idea and a great suggestion and something I should definitely try to do. So thank you for that idea. Uh, we also have one um, from Sherry. Hi, uh, Sherry. Mess up her last name, but she's on YouTube. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if you use Debbie's brushes. I have them and just found out that hers are synthetic and paint pixies are real brushes. Bristles. Yeah. Do you use those for you know the what? texture? I use both. Um, and you can see right there on the wall above, there are some Debbie's designed. I'm pointing at them. There are some over here. Um, there's some old ones that I just use for like weird projects, not furniture. Um, but I do use them both and I think it's kind of a personal preference on what you prefer. Um, I know that, uh, Debbie definitely, uh, said that the synthetic gives her a smoother finish. Um, but I also just feel like I end up going more towards the, um, all natural and I don't know why. I have no idea why. Um, I just, there's something about the, the way that it applies that I end up going towards, but I end up using them both. And I, I think that it's so, <laughs> it's such a little difference in between the two that I just grab whatever's clean. I grab whatever's clean. I think she forgot. Yeah, um, did you not put the white backing on the transfer? J Judy's really watching you. Oh, you mean while it's laying here? No. I didn't. Um, I got you, Judy. I got you. Thank you, honey. I laid it down on the ground next to me, but I'll, I'll put that white back on it right now. Uh, Sherry also wants to know, do you use one for wax only or do you mix? I only use wax brushes for wax. <laughs> okay, I got it back on, Judy. Hugs, fist bump, girl. Thank you for having my back, you guys. Um, got it. Um, I use a clear and a white, excuse me, clear for clear. I have another wax brush and they're all right here in this drawer, this little bucket right here. All my wax brushes are right there. And then I have some taller ones with the long handle right above it. Uh, I have one for black. <laughs> Thank you, Lordy. I have, um, one for black and one for brown. So I do not mix my wax and my paint brushes ever. Uh, Karen Brown on Facebook. Do you don't you find that the synthetic brush bristles separate while brushing? Oh man, I don't. 
Mm -mm. You don't use the synthetic that much. Do I you? don't use the synthetic. I was just saying I go more towards the natural. This nat look, this one is so old. I've probably used it. This is probably one from the very beginning. There are two bristles that are curling out, and I've used this over. I mean, like how long has Paint Pixie been around? Two years. Same brush right here. I don't, Kathy, you know, or Karen, but you know what? I just, I'm so bad. I, I don't know if I pay that much attention to those things. <laughs> um, Robin Harrison on the YouTube. Uh, when painting pieces with drawers mm -hmm. or doors, how do you keep the little drips from looking untidy when it is open? Oh, you just take a wet wipe and you just wipe it back. And with DIY paint, it's a clay-based paint. It just shh, comes right off. That's not never a problem. Thank you guys. I appreciate so many of you being here. So many of you guys know how to party on Saturdays. I like it. This is what we do. Yeah, we gotta get groups. House a shoes of and all. Yeah. House shoes. A lot what? of questions, a lot of comments. Be jealous of that look, ladies. This hat from um, Anissa. Uh, Karen, could you repeat the color you're using again real quick for Karen Ramsey? The color? Yep, she just got on, so she... Hello, it's DIY, and it's called Blue Iris. And as soon as the um, live is over, I promise that I'll post the link. And so if you want to check it out online, you can, or you can go to one of our many, many, many retailers across the country and into Canada. Okay, we just about got this, you guys. All right, more suggestions on what you would like to see me do? For yeah, the... you got a bunch of them on here, so you're going to have to go through and really write this down. Okay, I really am going to. Like, I'm going to get a notepad as soon as we get off of here and write down the ideas. If there a are... A lot of good ones. A lot of good ones? Yeah. Um, Mary, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's, it looks really long. <laughs> Gulden uh, Do you clean the wax brushes after each use? No. I don't. Um, I get asked that a lot. And what I do is I get the excess off of them on a towel. I take the brush and I go like this. And then I put it back on the shelf. And then when I go to use it, I pick it back up. And I go back over it on the towel and soften the bristles, get any extra off, and then I use it. I, um... I've never washed my wax brushes. Nobody tell Josie. Lazy. <coughs> it's not lazy. I don't want to get any moisture trapped in those brushes. I don't. And then when you're first starting out, like you only have like a few brushes. Do you know what I mean? Like you just don't have any. And I just didn't want to like, I don't know. I didn't want to get any moisture trapped inside of them. And so I do not do anything to them. Um, and I promise you, I've been using three of those wax brushes for at least a year and a half. That's just where I am. Um, Vanessa Hannah Brown, uh, she missed the primer discussion, she thinks. Do you prime? No, you don't need to prime with DIY paint. Most do chalk you, paints you don't need to prime. Do you do you prime at all or you're never primer? Never, out? never. No, you don't prime at all with DIY paint. Um, you don't need to sand and you don't need to prime. You just apply. Um, if something has a really heavy varnish on it because it was one of those weird awkward moments most of my pieces are so worn down most of them are the wood is so dried out that i don't ever have that issue but that's the only time i actually do do a light sanding but um are you gonna pick it aside for them real quick if they want me to are they totally bored Man, no, this is, they i feel like they're totally bored this here. is just blue i think you've, you've created a, a good place for them to ask questions and okay because really, in all honesty, they've been real good at answering. Other people have been answering questions. And... Are y'all helping each yeah, other? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. you got a good group tonight. Oh, oh right? these are my girls, my my guys. Thank you so much. Okay, well, I'll just keep going, and we'll just finish up this side. Um, but no, no sanding, no priming. Uh, clay-based paint, you're not going to find anything else harder than a clay-based paint. Um, I always like to use the analogy that if you live in Oklahoma, you know how hard the ground is, it's because it is full of clay. Um, it's, Matt knows, right? He's an electrician. He knows exactly how hard the dirt is. The dirt is. 
Oh, oh the clay. The clay in our ground. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a lot of things about people wanting those wheels, so I will. Maybe I you will could find design them. No, no, some, no, and no, we no, could no. sell them. I will find them, and then I will we'll post the link where to find them. On. Okay. Well, we're gonna try to find the brand. Like, if I could flip one of these over, I might be able to find what brand it is and see if I can help you guys out. The cheap ones are all over the internet. Don't buy those cheap ones. Mm -mm. Do not buy those cheap ones. You don't want to end up hurting yourself buy a piece of furniture falling or something to that effect. You don't want to. Um, but seriously, Matt, maybe we could build out a prototype and you could manufacture those. No, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. They've already been manufactured. We just got to find the manufacturer and then post it for people to... Yeah, but we can make them turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> no. no? <laughs> okay. Um, no? Oh, Chris Butler, he's, he, he just made a little comment. Okay. He says, it's about time she said girls and guys. I did, sir. Sheesh. Oh, Lisa G, um, she said she got her casters at Harbor Freight. There are a lot of people that get them at Harbor Freight. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't got those before, so I haven't seen them, so I'm not going to say or recommend them to you because I've never used them, but I do know a lot of people will say, I got mine at Harbor Freight. Um, but I don't know if they're the same size. I've seen small and large. Abby. Um, we have Jen Jennifer. Stop. Jennifer's cereals. Cereals. Uh, I'm painting and setting up the studio in my home this weekend. How did you do the beautiful wall behind the piece you sell? Oh, our old staging wall. We've moved. And so, um, we don't have that staging wall, but what we did was um, we put up, so um, I was uploading some of my images, some of my artwork to the, um, oh, yeah, you can delete that. Yeah. Um, I was uploading some of my artwork to Spoonflower and turning it into gift wrap, okay? And so I ordered a bunch of rolls of gift wrap and then we tore it off like torn wallpaper and then we glued it to the wall and then we took um what did we put on the wall babe what's that stuff called in the the mushy stuff the the, the mushy stuff yeah the mushy stuff the mushy stuff is called thin set it's a thin set like a wall joint compound woods hmm? joint compound yes it's wall joint compound you use to when you texture wall yeah it's the same stuff but we ended up putting some sand in it so it'd be like grit okay so it it was it's gritty and so we put it in a big bucket we got this big thing and we poured a little sand in it right woods and um he troweled it on and then i went right back behind him and sprayed water uh, excuse me uh sprayed paint onto it um it looks as though we're about done here so um, we have some trolls over on YouTube that have decided to join us. And so um, I think we're just going to go ahead and... I got them. Um, okay. Yeah. I can't... The, the, um, so we sprayed the paint on there and then I would go back and then he would like... He would trowel the color back in. And so it looked as though the colors were actually in... Well, they are. That we were putting the colors into the wall and um, he... Uh, then I would actually go back and add in some of the acrylics, but I used DIYs Farm Fresh. I used DIYs um, Calgary Coral, and I think a little bit of Queen Bee. Um, and then we kind of made it look, we, we got up right around the wallpaper, and we made it kind of look like it was crumbling off and there was layers of wallpaper underneath it. So that's how we did that. It dried, probably took a couple of days to dry. Um, and then in areas I took dark brown wax to make it look like it was like, what's the word? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm going to actually, um, say goodbye to YouTube. Um, I'm sorry you guys that are here and being nice and playing nice. Um, I'm going to leave on Instagram and get finished up over here on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook, you all see you tomorrow.